Hello, welcome to St. Paul's Art with Mrs. Bust. We are going to focus on a project for Black History Month. We're going to look to one of the artists we discussed a little earlier in week 25 and 26 when we talked about our fabric stories, um, Faith Link Ringgold. She created story quilts, which are painted and quilted imagery that tell a story. This is one of her children's books that she focused on with Mr. Martin Luther King Jr. And for our project, our um, class listened to a YouTube video, which the link is listed in the blog, um, of his famous speech, I Have a Dream, that he delivered in 1963. We're going to connect those things with um, pop artist Andy Warhol who collaborated with an African-American artist, Jean-Michel Basquat, and the two of them worked together in the 1980s. However, the connection I've made is um, Andy Warhol started getting popular during the 1960s, and some of his pop art portraits of celebrities with the bold color and the vibrant line made him um, popular, actually, popular pop art. And so today, um, very quickly, I'm going to describe, after listening to that video of Mr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s delivery of his speech, students colored um, a page with either, with a different color palette. They chose whether or not to use warm colors. or cool colors. Secondary. Primary. And those are all colored with markers. So what creates a primary palette is red, yellow, and blue. A secondary palette is orange, purple, and green. Uh, cool colors, which I am wearing, are purple, blue, and green. And warm colors, red, yellow, and orange. So, I would like you to choose one palette of colors. This is a warm, which I didn't color the green. Um, one palette of colors, either secondary, primary, cool or warm, and create your pop art picture. Now I colored these on regular paper, but if you paint it lightly with some oil, vegetable oil, it makes it translucent and kind of like a window art. So those are your options and I really hope you get to focus on some of um, the dreams that he has for our country and what a visionary he was for the United States. We still look to his speech as something that we all hope and dream for.